In this video, we are going to learn the accrual concept and we will see how we can accrue the month end expenses in QuickBooks. So let's get started. In this video, we are going to see how you can enter the month end expenses against the accrued expenses. So the last transaction says transfer of falling utility bills to accrued expenses. Now, because in accounting, we have to record the expense in the particular month to which it relates, even if it is not paid yet. For example, you receive the electricity bill for the month of January, let's say by 31st January, and you are paying it in the next month. But if we enter that transaction in the next month, it will be recorded as the next month expense and we don't want that. So that's why what we do is when the liability occurs, when the expense is due for us in the particular month, we enter it on that dates. But the problem is we haven't paid anything yet. So in that case, we will debit the electricity bill, let's say as an expense and credit will be accrued expenses. Now accrued expenses is simply expenses payable. So it is a liability account which will be cleared in future. As you can see in the opening position, we had an opening balance of accrued expenses. That means expenses payable. And in the very next transaction on 1st of January, we have paid all accrued expenses paid by cash. So we reduced the liability by debit and credit was cash. So similarly, this month we will record all of these expenses because it relates to that specific month, but we haven't paid it yet. So that's why we will credit the accounts payable. Now it's up to you if you want to record each separate expense as debit and then credit as liability for each one separately. Or what you can do is debit all of these and pass a single credit entry. Let me show you how. Now to enter this, I'll go to company and click on make general journal entries. Click OK. Let's put the date, which is 31st of January. And let's mention this expense. Now it's your choice. If you want to set as indirect expense and you want to mention this as a bracket, you can mention that. Otherwise you can just keep it the name to electricity bill. Let's press tab. And if the account is not found, we will set that up as an expense and continue. Let's save and close. And now I'll put the balance here. Let's put the memo in the memo. You can keep the bracket as indirect. And now it's your choice. If you want to credit it directly to accrued expenses, which is other current liability, this will be the complete entry. You can save and close and do the same for each separate expense and then credit each one as accrued expenses. But if you want to enter all of this, you can do this also because the date is same for all the expenses because we are putting in accrued expenses, right? So rent, let's write rent simply. Rent expenses already here. So let's put the debit and let's copy and paste this rent here. Next one is salaries and wages. Now you have to check whether we have something closely related to that particular ledger. It's not compulsory that exactly that ledger name exists. It will be something different, especially if you have chosen the industry specific chart of accounts, it will automatically create some ledges and you can choose from them. So let's see here. We can see the payroll expenses. So what I can do is right now I can just post it as a payroll expense and then we will later on change the name of payroll expenses to salaries and wages. So let's put the debit here. Press tab. Next one. We have telephone bills. Again, we have to see what is relevant for us. Now here we have telephone expenses already. So we will use this press tab it paste it here and then press tab and it will automatically calculate the totals of the debit and show it as a credit. Now all of this credit goes to accrued expenses. This is the simplest entry that you can do for accruing all the expenses at the month end. Now let's save and close. And guys, this is how you can enter the expenses for the particular month against the accrued expenses or expenses payable. 